Hello everyone, it's Anthony from Gloucester Maestro. So I'm just about to do some liquid culture syringes and I thought I'd show you how I go about doing it. Okay, so we're starting off by removing the liquid culture from the stir plate, which has been there for a while, to really break up the mycelium. Cleanliness is next to godliness, especially when it comes to mycology, so making sure all the surfaces are wiped down with alcohol, and all the kit is sprayed and wiped down as well. So I'm spraying down some syringes, one needle, and some lure locks for each syringe as well. All equipment has come from Micropunks, full disclosure, I work for Micropunks. But if you do need any cultivation supplies, then uh, yeah, check it out. So making sure the injection port is nice and clean and the jar is clean before we start. Out we go. Right, so I'm opening up one of the syringe packs and I'm opening it up the needle end. Just enough so that I can get the needle in there. And the same with the needle, I'm opening it up the screw end, keeping it in the package just for extra reduced risk of contamination. And then the needle goes straight in to the injection port, into the jar. This is the tricky bit, making sure the needle is fully submerged in the liquid and then start extracting. If it's not in the liquid, then you're, you're gonna start um, extracting the air, which obviously you don't want. I'm just gonna loosen off the needle slightly, and you'll see why. So I take the lure lock, and I'll show you a clo close up of this in a second. And I open the lure lock on the screw end. Again, just making sure that I'm not touching too much. I mean, this is probably being over cautious, but. So the next syringe is ready to go. Open it up the needle end, and that goes straight onto the needle, which has been left in the actual jar. And again, this is just to reduce the risk of contamination. So if you're continually putting new needles in, into the injection port into the jar, then uh, obviously the risk of contamination goes up. So this is quite a neat way of reducing any uh, overuse of needles. So here's a close up of the actual lure lock and how it goes on. And there you go, some liquid culture syringes. Hope it's helpful.